Hey everyone, this is Sweeney, the Try It Chick. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a continuing subscriber, hello again, and thank you for your continuing support. So today, I'll be sharing with you guys my 30-day journey with L'Oreal Paris Revital Lift Night Serum with pure retinol that I got for free from Influencer. So even though I got this product for free, they are not compensating me in any way to give them a good review. This is my pure honest opinion and experience from this serum. And matter of fact, I actually took a video of myself every day for 30 days, which makes this video quite long. So I don't want to prolong this no longer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Easy to be misunderstood. Over here, I'm just going to show you guys my problem area, which is a wrinkle just below my eye bag. So I'm trying to fade this out using this retinol. Hopefully it will help. So I'll only be putting this retinol on my problem areas, such as that wrinkle that I pointed out earlier, and also on the other side, even though I don't have one on this side, just for prevention, and also on my forehead to also prevent any wrinkle up there. And that's about it. I'm okay, I'm okay. Even though my scare is running down, down my face. Really, I'm okay, I'm okay. Smoking, honestly, I'm lonely. My mind is somewhere else again. Scrolling through my Insta, don't wanna get into this right now. The girl who's down for anything, go out to forget everything. Cry until I can't cry no more. What the hell am I crying for? Keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay. Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay Even though my scare is running down, down my face So I read from an article that retinol is also good for pimples and I have been getting pimples on my chin so I'll be putting this on my chin from now on. Even though my scare is running down, down my face Really, I'm okay, I'm okay I forgot to tell you guys that after that burning sensation on day 5, my face started to peel off and dry up so now I have to use a moisturizer afterwards.
stressed out. It's red because it burns curly. So once again, I got a pimple on a new area, so I'll be putting retinol in that area. Let's run it back and kick it like we used to 
be something new On this day, day 26, I read more about retinol and learned that you could actually do a retinol sandwich where you first apply a moisturizer, then retinol and a moisturizer again to prevent the burning sensation from happening. And if you're worried about the moisturizer getting in the way, it actually doesn't do anything. If anything, you're actually creating a protective barrier. I really wish I knew this sooner. Final thoughts. I actually have a list of pros and cons here. So 
which one should we start first? I'm actually thinking about starting with pros since the pros are shorter than the cons. <laughs> okay, for the pros, it did clear the pimples on my chin. So you can see there's no more pimples there. Also, it made my skin brighter and clearer and also added a glow. Right now, I'm actually not wearing any foundation. What you see is my bare skin. So yeah, my skin is not normally this glowy. I don't know if it's just my light. I have a LED light staring at me right now. Then again, we have to also consider the moisturizer because I used both of them at the same time. So this could be the works of the moisturizer or it could be the retinol. All right, so those are the pros. <laughs> Moving on to the cons. Let's start off with the side effects. So the side effects are pretty bad. You guys saw I had burning sensation pretty much every five days of using the product and it happened to me quite a lot so I did have to take days off that's why in my videos you see it's not continuous the recording because I had to take days off and also while we're talking about this um, it's so crucial to wear a sunscreen after you use this product because if you don't use any sunscreen you could actually reverse the effect so you could make the aging process even faster. Furthermore, on the side effect, I also got some mild peeling. Right now you can't see them because it's, like I said, it's very mild. And you could only see them actually if you put on foundation or a tinted moisturizer. That's when you could see the patches. I actually didn't know it was happening until I started putting foundation on and they are so visible. I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah, make sure you guys watch out for that. What else? Oh, the most important review of them all. It didn't do anything to my wrinkle, which is under my eye bag. Over here. So yeah, as what you guys can see, it's still there. And it's actually really weird because I don't have it on the other side. It's like a smiling wrinkle. It's really annoying and that's actually the reason why I wanted to try this for 30 days to see I can make this fade or go away but unfortunately it didn't do that yeah let's talk about the pimple on my jaw so even though it did clear the pimple on my chin it didn't completely clear off the pimple on my right jaw it's still there as what you can see lastly let's talk about the price so depending on where you buy this product, it's actually pretty expensive. On Target and Walmart, they sell this for $27. Meanwhile, at Ulta, they sell this at $36, which I think is pretty ridiculous. And I just found out that the Ordinary, for the same exact potency or concentration and the same size, you could get this product for $5.80 at Ulta. Say what? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Why didn't I just try that instead of this? Not to degrade L'Oreal or anything, but The Ordinary is more of a well-known to work skincare product. So I don't know why it's cheaper than L'Oreal, but I would probably trust that product than this. So yeah, that's all I got, guys. Um, hopefully, I cleared up some things for you when it comes to this product. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment. I will try my best to reply to you, and hopefully I have an answer to your question. And if you truly enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!